The year 2023 has been a memorable one, with a series of natural disasters occurring globally. From devastating earthquakes and destructive floods to terrifying wildfires, these events have left a profound impact on people's minds and changed the lives of millions. Let's take a look at the major natural disasters that occurred in 2023. Wildfires in Hawaii the wildfire disaster on the island of Maui. Hawaii has resulted in the death of 115 people, with 1,100 people still missing, a number that could potentially rise. This information was announced by Maui Mayor Richard Bisson on August 21. The tourist town of Lahina, home to 12,000 residents, has virtually disappeared from the map, with thousands presumed missing. The list of missing persons is maintained by various organizations and authorities, including the police and the Red Cross. According to Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz, about 85% of the area affected by the wildfire has been inspected. However, nearly 2,000 people are still without electricity. 10,000 people are unable to connect to telecommunications signals and water in western areas is not clean enough to drink. 1,000 federal employees have been dispatched to Hawaii to assist in disaster response. Meanwhile, Washington has provided over $8 million in aid to affected families. Senator Brian Schatz emphasized that Maui is still in the disaster response phase and has not yet begun the recovery phase. The high temperatures from the fire have created difficulties in the process of recovering remains. According to data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI and other agencies, nearly 1,300 people who were initially reported missing have been confirmed safe. Earthquake in Morocco According to a report from Morocco's state television, a century-scale earthquake on September 8 resulted in the death of 2,862 people and injured 2,562 others. The number of missing persons is yet to be accounted for. Morocco has accepted rescue assistance from Spain, the UK, UAE and Qatar, according to state media reports. The Moroccan government may agree to accept further aid from other countries. In the village of Tinmal, located in the High Atlas mountain region, an area affected by the earthquake, most houses have been completely destroyed, leaving residents without shelter. This village has only 100 residents, of which 16 have been found dead due to the earthquake. The air here has become unbearable due to the stench from the decaying bodies of livestock, trapped under rubble. The initial rescue response is said to have been slow. Many residents in affected villages had to try to rescue their relatives and neighbors from the rubble with their bare hands. The Prime Minister of Morocco has pledged to support the survivors of the earthquake, promising financial aid for rebuilding homes and schools. Earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Officials from Turkey and Syria have confirmed a total of nearly 50. Zero people have died in the devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck on February 6, and the aftershocks that occurred, with 10,000 following the earthquake. This is one of the worst earthquakes in the region this decade, with a fault line stretching over 100 kilometers, 62 miles between the Anatolian and Arabian plates, according to seismologists. In Turkey alone, the earthquake disaster has resulted in the death of over 44,200 people and the collapse of about 600,000 apartments and 150,000 commercial establishments. Over a million residents of this country are currently living in tents, containers, or student dormitories. 
According to Syrian authorities, nearly 6,000 of their citizens have perished. In total, 490 brick buildings have been completely or partially collapsed, while thousands of other homes in northwestern Syria have been damaged. In total, the death toll in Turkey and Syria following the earthquake disaster has exceeded 50,000 people. Rescue and relief operations have been urgently deployed, with participation from rescue teams from many countries around the world. At least 160,000 people, including foreign rescue workers, are searching for victims in the rubble in Turkey. However, rescue operations have faced many difficulties due to cold weather. Despite receiving attention and humanitarian aid from the international community, the aftermath of the earthquake for Turkey and Syria is too large and difficult to remedy in a short time. Floods in Libya. The death toll has risen to over 11,300 people, with at least 10,100 people still missing in flood-affected areas, while over 40,000 people in northeastern Libya have lost their homes. The historic flood on September 10th was caused by a tropical storm sweeping through the area around Derna, breaking to dams. The massive amount of water rushed out overnight, causing a horrific disaster for the 100,000 residents. The first dam to break in this disaster was the Abu Mansa Dam, located 13 kilometers from Derna and capable of holding 22.5 million cubic meters of water. The flood water then broke the second dam, El Bidlad, which has a capacity of 1.5 million cubic meters of water and is only one kilometer from the city. On September 13th, Libyan officials announced that search and rescue teams had found over 1,500 bodies in the rubble. In the city of Derna, in the east of the country, and 400 bodies washed up on the coast near Derna. Meanwhile, 6,085 people in other affected areas are said to have had to leave their homes to seek refuge. The arrest of dozens of related officials for alleged negligence has somewhat quelled the wave of protests in Libya, however, if mistakes were detected and rectified in time. Before the disaster occurred, the damage Libya has suffered might not have been as severe as it is now. Wildfires in Chile, Chile, a country located in the southwest of South America, has experienced a horrific natural disaster. Dozens of wildfires have erupted across the country due to summer temperatures in the region exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. To date, at least 23 people have died in the fires. This loss includes not only local residents, but also those working in the firefighting force. Furthermore, at least 979 people have been injured, some of whom are dealing with serious injuries. About 1,100 people have had to leave their homes to find safe shelter, faced with losing their homes and not knowing when they can return. They are living in a state of instability and worry. Not only is it a direct, dangerous and deadly threat, wildfires also pose a serious danger from wildfire smoke, affecting human health in areas far away from the fires. Smoke from wildfires can travel thousands of kilometers from its source, crossing continents and even oceans. Winds from the north and northeast have blown smoke far away, crossing distances to reach Santiago the capital of Chile. The Chilean government and international organizations are trying to support those affected by this disaster. However, with the scale and level of devastation of the wildfires, restoring and supporting the community will be a major challenge. The year 2023 has witnessed a series of natural disasters across the globe, from terrifying wildfires in Hawaii Chile to horrifying earthquakes in Morocco and the worst earthquake in a decade in Turkey, Syria. These events have caused loss of life and property, 
and have also changed the lives of millions of people. These disasters are not only specific manifestations of climate change, but also a warning about the importance of immediate action. To reduce human impact on the environment, we need to find ways to prevent their continuation in the future.